All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to build out the navigation, the footer, and we're also going to add the slideshow and one other feature to the home page. All right, so let's get started on that. So in the previous video, we did all this hoopla and whatever. Um, let's just control A, delete, control S to save. I'm going to go back into Chrome and I'm going to go to the uh, I'm going to click on the little B here, or just go to uh, getbootstrap.com. Click get started, and we're going to grab that starter template again. Okay, I'm going to copy that. We're going to go back into our file here. I'm going to paste this in again. And we're going to um, kind of space out stuff a little bit and get it ready for the... for building the navigation. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to add um, custom CSS to this. So we're going to do, we're going to comment this out, custom CSS. Okay, and we're going to do link CSS slash custom dot CSS. Okay, so let's go into CSS, right click, new file, control S to save. Let's gonna, we're going to do custom dot CSS. And we're going to type in a couple things here. Body, padding with uh, padding top, 54 pixels. Okay. And then we're going to do at media min with 992 pixels. And let's do a body with padding top of 56 pixels. Okay, then we're going to do a class of carousel dash item, and we're going to do height 65 vh, min height 300 pixels, background no repeat, center, whoop center, center, scroll. Now you're probably wondering, why are we putting all this stuff in here? Well, the reason we're doing this ahead of time is we're going to build out a, um, we're going to build out the menu, and we're going to build out the uh, carousel and the footer, and one other, one other element in this video, and so I'm just getting this prepped so when we get all that coded, it will function the way that it needs to. So let's do Moz background size cover. Okay, and then we're going to do O dash O dash background dash size cover. Okay, and let's do background dash size cover. Okay, and then we got one more thing. So we're going to do dot portfolio dash item. We may or may not use this. I haven't decided yet on that. Um, 30 pixels. Okay, so now let's go into the index and we're going to delete hello world. Okay. It'll let me. Let me see if it will try again. There we go. So we're going to comment this out navigation. Okay, and we're going to do, so let's do start navigation, and then we'll do end navigation. So let's copy that and return twice, and then end navigation. So we'll hit control and the left arrow to kind of tab around, and then I'm going to return twice and go to line 21 and tab in one, and we're going to do nav class nav bar fixed navbar fixed dash top navbar dash expand dash large navbar dash dark background dash dark fixed top okay we'll close that okay 
And now we're going to start the container. So let's open inside of here. Okay, let's do uh, start container. And we're going to do uh, a div with a class of container. All right, and then we're going to do end container below it. So I want to return once. We're going to do end container. Okay, we'll keep that there. And now we're going to do uh, start. Let's return and then do start. Uh, actually, let's just do nav brand because we, we're not going to end this. We're just going to do one line of commenting out. So let's do an anchor with a class of nav bar dash brand href index.html and we're going to type in bootstrap and we're going to close that with an anchor tag okay so we'll return and we're going to return one more a couple more times here and i'm going to go to line 29 and i'm going to do i'm going to comment this out again we're going to do start button i'm going to return twice and we're going to do end button Okay, now, now that that's done, we'll return a couple more times. We'll go to line 31, and we'll do button class navbar dash toggler navbar dash toggler right. We're going to do a type button data toggle um, equals collapse data target equals ID navbar responsive okay a r i a dash controls equals navbar responsive okay a r i a dash expanded equals false a R I A dash label equals uh, toggle navigation. Okay, and we're going to do a span with a class of navbar toggler dash icon. Close that span, and we're going to do button to close it out. Okay, and then I'm going to hit delete once. To bring up the okay, I guess it didn't work. So go to line 34, go up and hit backspace to bring the comment up. And same with this, I'm going to hit delete, and that should squeeze it together so we know where they're um, combined. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to comment out start start links. Okay, and then we're going to return and we're going to end links. Okay, and we'll go in here and we'll return two more times. And I'm going to start with a div and a class of collapse. Okay, and we're going to space navbar collapse. And we're going to do an ID of navbar right here, navbar responsive. Okay, and then I'm going to close that, return, and I'm going to hit backspace to bring end links up. Okay, now we're going to do an unordered list. So we're going to do ul class navbar dash nav ml dash auto. Okay, we'll close that. And we're going to do an li with a class of nav dash item and we're going to close that with an li and we're going to do an anchor with a class of nav link and an href of index.html and we're going to type in home here we'll close that off and we're going to copy this now so we're going to do before we copy that i want to comment this out we're going to do home and we'll do We'll copy all of it. Oh, there we go. So let's copy all of this. I'll return. And we're going to do, I'm going to give it one more space. 
and I'm going to give it a space up here too so it's easier to read. 